Hello guys, this is Project Lemon, and I am here with some Blacklight Retribution, which is the sequel to Blacklight Tango Down. Th uh, this game is actually a free-to-play, multiplayer-only game. It's a lot of fun, has really in-depth customization, I'll show you that here. Um, it has a really unique, like, renting weapon system, I kind of find that cool. Uh, you can change the receiver, which is like basically what type of gun it is, like a bolt action, combat, burst fire rifle, which is actually what I'm going to rent right now. Um, to rent it for one day, it's 200 GP, which is kind of like the, like, you get GP by completing matches and stuff, that type thing. A lot of games do that, uh, games similar to this, I mean. Uh, if you want it for seven days, it's still relatively cheap. However, you can actually buy it permanently, but that costs a lot more. Um, like, for me to have this permanently, I need, like, <coughs> 5,500 GP, which is actually quite a lot. GP isn't easy to get. That would be, like, to get that much, it's probably about 50 rounds, which is quite a lot, obviously. So I'm actually just going to rent this for one day. I've used it before. I quite like the burst fire rifle. So I'm going to rent this. You can change your muzzle. I've bought this per permanently. I saved up for it. can change your um, rail, actually. I personally like the Night Stalker, but I'm not going to rent that as it's not too big of a deal. It only increases the damage by one. There's the magazines. I'm saving up to buy this one. Or wait, no, it's actually this one. As you can see, it has a um, shorter reload time. If you go over here, you can see all the stats for it. So I can rent this if I want. But since it's just a magazine, I'd rather just buy it permanently. And I do actually have enough. So I'm going to buy this permanently. And now I have a new magazine. Can change your scope. The one that I really like is the crane. So I'm going to rent this um, the scopes I've found takes a little bit of getting used to, um, but it's really not that bad. Like, the scopes seem a little bit congested. Speaking of which, I am also. Pardon me if my voice sounds, like, really different from its usual voice. You can change your weapon tag. Just a fun little thing. It actually does have an effect on your weapon and uh, on your stats. I like the angry bomb. You can even change your weapon camo. I like standard issue and concrete gray, but um, you can even change a lot of stuff on your secondary, even the receiver. Um, but anyway, you can also change your appearance, which uh, does have an effect on your character. Like you can, as you can see here, this has uh, reduced health, but increased stamina, uh, increased run, and increased recharge. Um, there's the alien right here, the breach, that one, I found isn't too popular, but some people use it. If you've played Blacklight Tango Down, this was the default for the order team, but this one, um, there's no, like, order, uh, it's only one team, technically, but the other team is, uh, you always see the other team as red, so... Uh, I've found that this one is pretty popular. It increases your health by a good amount, but it increases your speed and that type of thing. You can even get these, like, customized versions of uh, previous ones, like this one. Uh, obviously, this is kind of like a repainted uh, version of the default helmet. I kind of want to get this one. I'm not sure how, though. <coughs> oh, available via chance pack. Um... Sadly, just like every game appears to be doing, there is Zen, which is... This game is published and hosted by PerfectWorld.com, and that's kind of a bad thing, because that means you need Zen to purchase certain things. Um, here's the uh, armor I'm trying to get, by the way. Uh, and here's the weapon depot. Uh, I'll show you that in the gameplay, which I'm about to get into. Oh yeah, there's also like combat knives and that type of thing. The combat knife mark too is really good. Oh uh, yeah, pardon my super congested voice, but anyway, I'm gonna join a match here. I'm gonna do quick join, as you can see, I'm a level eight. 
And while this is, while I'm about to join, um, here's a lobby actually, not in game yet. But a quick shout out to uh, 1D Carrots, two S's. I'll leave a link to them in the description for giving me a shout out. Thanks. Um, and this, uh, there are kind of TF2 style. There, a uh, there are what you call it taunts that you can use after you kill an enemy. And in this game, it actually gives you extra points, which I find kind of funny, depending on how long the um. <coughs> taunt is like you can buy like here's the troll face taunt um for some reason it appears that it's not letting me view the actual digital part of it, it like it has a little troll face that pops up but it's not letting me see that i don't know why <coughs> you can even customize your emblem halo style and it appears on your character too as you probably saw earlier um so here the game is starting it is team deathmatch the game modes are not that innovative um the graphics the visuals i should say are quite good they're way better than you're seeing here i have it on the minimum settings um so gonna go through here the map design is quite thoughtful and in the bottom left hand corner you'll see cp which is basically points that you get uh from doing stuff in match it resets after every match look flamethrower available in depot that means i can go to what's called a weapon depot and to buy little things that can help me in combat one of the big parts of this game all right so here's a weapon depot i'm not going to visit it quite yet because you're quite vulnerable <coughs> um while using it I've killed countless people that were trying to use the weapons depot. Um, I'm getting shot right now, and I'm probably not to- Oh, I actually killed him. And if I taunt here, it'll give me five extra points, as you can see. This game is a lot of fun. It's a big bang for your buck, considering that it's free. So, you get almost infinite fun. I just got owned for- basically no money at all unless you want to buy zen to buy like camo or buy weapons faster um this game can be a little bit frustrating at times at least for me but i get frustrated easily so and here this is also a big part of the game it's called the hyper reality visor it's basically like aimbot that's actually part of the game uh, I find that funny, and it's interesting how they use it, considering everybody has it. No, 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 no. As you can see, we're locked in a vicious battle, and I just got stabbed in the face. Of course, with the combat knife mark, too. Uh, I had a good double kill there, that wasn't too bad. Nobody nag me in the comments about not playing the objective. This is team deathmatch. Um, but speaking of which, what I have found, people don't like to play the objective in this game. I guess I can understand that, but still, I have literally carried the team on my back on several occasions. Um, <coughs> they in capture the flag. Sometimes my team doesn't even go near the flag. And it's kind of annoying when you're basically doing all the work, but... And, what else, what else I've found? I hate assists in any game. That's why I love Ghost Recon so much, because, um... It gives you the same amount as, of points for an assist as it does with a kill. I really like that. Because sometimes, the person couldn't have gotten the kill without the assist, so... Functionally, you got the kill. If you know what I'm saying. This guy knows I'm coming. Okay, maybe not. Oh, oh, it's this guy. See, I quite like this scope. Kind of close range, but you can still use it. Oh, and as you can see, hard suit available in depot. I'm going to try and show off the hard suit for you, because it can really turn the tide of the game, um, or of the match. Just gotta find a weapon depot if I go into- Oh, I can see one right there. 
This also locates objectives and things like that. So if I'm really fast, I could maybe get a hard suit. But if you die while you have this little hard suit deployer thingy, uh, you don't get it back. You have to earn it again. Ugh, I hate that. And you have to deploy it in an open area. Every map has an open area where you can where you can uh, deploy a hard suit, which is really good. Um, but it is frustrating when you die trying to find a place to deploy the hard suit you worked so hard for. However, the hard suit is kind of easy to get. It's easy to get two in a match. It's and it's incredibly powerful too. I think they should either make it harder to get or balance it a little bit because. It is vulnerable, it has several weak points that are easy to exploit, but still, if you know how to use it, this is really, um, powerful, and, yeah, once again, it's a bit easy to get, only th 1300 CP in a match, and you've got one. And it has a chain gun, as you can see here, or a machine gun, depending on your point of view, and it has a rail gun for uber stopping power, and that's a really lucky shot right there. <laughs> And that guy was trying to shoot me. He actually did a little bit of damage, but he wasn't shooting my weak point. I personally like the railgun better because it doesn't need to obviously spin up like the chain gun does. You want to react quickly when using the hard suit. Flamethrowers obviously will, absol will absolutely dominate a hard suit because... Um... Was I can say, yeah, uh, if you burn, you can burn the pilot and do a lot of damage to the hard suit with flamethrower. So you can basically hijack the hard suit. So you want to be careful about people with flamethrowers. Never let anybody get too close because, um, uh, they can easily, like, run circles around you, literally. And it will be very hard for you to kill whoever's attacking you. This guy is running away from me, but I used teamwork and cornered him thanks to Reckless Ryu over there. Gonna reload, you don't have infinite ammo. Well, you do, but um, you have to reload still. Like, you have in infinite clips, but not infinite ammo in the clips. And as you can see, I'm getting shot in my weak point here. And, yeah, I've let them get way too close. And, as you can see, my armor has dropped a lot. It's down to 12,000. I got that guy there. Got him. Her, actually. You can choose your character's gender, also. Got him with the chain gun. Got him with the rail gun. And, I have gotten countless kills in this thing right now. I'm doing very well if I do say so myself now. Unstoppable. That is awesome. I am in third place right now. And I'm not competing just with the enemy. I'm competing with my team too. I want to get in the top three. Luckily I am in the top three right now. Hopefully I can hold my position. Because we are also winning, and if I can hold my position for two more minutes, then I will be happy. There's no really, like, substantial reward for being in the top three, but basically you just see your, uh, character up there after the match, and you get to taunt the enemy. It's pretty cool. So, I've gotten- I'm at 11 and 3. That is really good for me, actually. Um, gonna go around this. Co oh, there we go. Now high threat, and I am still in the top three now. Funny man replaced me for a moment, and look how many. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, it shows how many people you've killed. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kills, I believe. I'm just kind of rushing my counting, so pardon me if I actually counted horribly wrong. Um. My armor is getting relatively low. That is not good. Okay, it's getting very low, and I just got shot in the weak point. 
So there goes my heart too. Oh well. <coughs> 12 and 4, very good. I had a 9 kill streak. And now I'm back on the ground. However, I can get another hard suit, which I think I should. But I've shown you a lot of hard suit gameplay, so I'm just going to ignore all the weapon depots, especially since there's only one minute left. Or I could show you the flamethrower. So, in fact, I'll do that. Uh, ah, victory! That's good, but I'm not in the top three, so this is what you get if you're in the top three. And you can press T to taunt your enemies if you want. These people don't seem to be doing it. But most people, like, absolutely spam T, so they taunt over and over. Gonna say good game here. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> And here's the GP that you earn at the end of the match. And you can see, click to buy 50% XP, 800 Zen. If I were, I wouldn't buy Zen. Just, no. It's not free to play, pay to enjoy necessarily, but I think it's really annoying how people are doing it. But, like, you can use Zen to purchase items in the game I mean I'm fine with that but when they close off half of the stuff in the game to only Zen that's really annoying I mean I do actually really want this troll taunt the troll face taunt but still not gonna pay real money for it kinda like TF2 I mean I think it's a good deal that if you pay once if you buy something once then you have the trading world unlocked to you forever and it's not like where you need to buy the weapons to actually pick them up in game because well the weapons are very common in TF2 and that's a good idea by Valve we're on TDM again on a different map I I'm not sure I feel about this map I think I like the other one a bit better but I do like this map there's only one map that I really don't like I, in this game. I don't know what it's called, but it's very claustrophobic, very closed off. Up, uh, that guy had like really heavy. Oh wait, no, he doesn't. Never mind. Cause one, he had heavy armor, but he doesn't. Alright, and here's the combat knife. The combat knife Mark II is obviously better. Um, got a kill there. I have a negative ratio, as usual. I just got really lucky last round. Um, flamethrower available in depot. Doesn't take much to get rocket launchers, flamethrowers, health refills, and ammo refills, obviously. But the hard suit does take like a good amount, but still, easy to get. Alright, and there are no enemies near me. They're all in a cluster over there. I really don't utilize the HRV as much as a lot of people do. Because you cannot fire while using the HRV. So if somebody, like, goes around in a corner, you cannot kill him because you're in the HRV mode. Got a headshot. And also, in this game, heads explode. That's always a plus. They don't always explode with a headshot, but if you shoot somebody with a headshot at close range-ish. Gonna get killed here, probably. An assist? That's something. Because I was almost sure I wasn't gonna get the kill there anyway. Yep, got killed. <coughs> Has kind of the same TF2. Not really kill cam, but kill assessment, I guess you could call it. have a positive ratio, er, well, net zero. Never mind, negative ratio. Because that's quite stupid as uh, paying attention outside and not inside. Alright, I almost have enough for another hard suit, and with this map, hard suits are quite good. Uh, hard suits are better. Oh, look at that. They're just like. My teammate didn't even notice that there's an enemy right behind him. That happens a lot. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hard suit available in depot, so I'm actually going to go back and grab a hard suit. Uh, it's easy, obviously easy to deploy one on this map because it's very open. 
And don't get crushed by a hard suit. Somebody else will pick it up and you will die. So you need to make your way all the way back to your hard suit before somebody steals it. And that would be just really stupid. If you hold shift, you actually like do this a boost thing, as you can see. But you have like a little stall after you do. Oh wait. <laughs> Gonna just absolutely pepper this guy with bullets. Up, oh, got a hit with the rail gun. Yeah, as I said, I like the railgun way better than the chain gun slash minigun. Hey, I saw you back here. I saw your glowing orangeness. I'm now a high threat. That's always good. If you get a kill streak, I believe that almost always pops up. Armor Stinger available in depot again. Armor Stingers will destroy your hard suit very quickly, by the way. I'm doing a very poor job now in my hard suit. Um. Oh, that was actually a really good shot, if I do say so myself. And I do. I have a feeling we're gonna try and sneak up behind- Up. Oh. Got a feeling. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. Carrots. Mashed potatoes. Stuffing. Ow. That grenade hurt. Alright, well- Death Hazard, he spelt hazard terribly wrong. Is gonna go in there and clear things up for me, hopefully. Maybe better just get his butt handed to him. Yep, butt handed to him. Oi. This guy turns around. This guy sees me turning around and he's like, crap. See, hard suits are kind of slow, obviously, so. You can easily just like basically taunt them by just running circles around them, and he's like, "Where are they? Where are they?" And when you finally locate where they were, they're gone. So it's well, once again, hard seats aren't OP, but they are quite powerful and um, easy to use. But once again, not OP because there's so many oh, enemy hard suit. Better take care of that. At least I think that's an enemy hard suit I hear. Yes. So I'm actually going for his weak point a bit more. Oh, I killed the hard suit. The joints on the back are weak points, I believe. The mech fights in this game are so fun, like the double hard suits. I got killed, and he was kind of ish at low health. Uh, as you can see, I'm in second place, and we are winning. So I kind of have a good chance to be in the top three, but I think I just jinxed it, and I probably won't end up in the top three, but oh well. Whoa, okay, I thought that was an enemy. Okay, I thought I killed the hard suit. I was like, yes. Got a friendly hard suit over there. Nobody around here. Forgot about the HRV for a sec again. <coughs> the animations for the hard suit look really, really cool, by the way. So the little things that count. Oh, oh, jeez, hard suit. I gotta 
<laughs> I gotta get out of there. I mean, I am scared of hard suits. I have never been really able to take one down j by just running circles around them like other people can. Oh, there, there he was. That was kind of a good kill on his part. <coughs> oh, with an LMG too. Nice. And me hard suit right there. Headshots. High threat eliminated too. Oh, okay. I can do this. Perpeter, you don't see me. Ah, somebody else. That was good teamwork there. He took him out. Well, I. Um, I want to know how much. Sorry if you. Sorry if you heard that horrible noise in the background for a second there. Um. But that was good teamwork. While I was attacking it in the hard suit, obviously couldn't really get me. That was terrible shooting. I should be ashamed of myself for that. Where'd he go? Oh jeez, hard suit! Yeah, that was not good. That was too careless there. I actually still have a positive ratio. Not as good of a uh, ratio that I got last round. Boy, Ah, oh, I saw him there. But I didn't have time to react. <clears throat> but for a free-to-play game, this game is, high, is definitely worth the download time. Well, actually, it doesn't even take that long to download, but, um, if you have some technical issues, I know I did, I leveled up, I can just tell, and I got second place, look at that, and if I press T, taunt. I'm only gonna taunt once, because cool people only taunt once. <coughs> oh, excuse me. character models in this game are just so awesome. Here's all this stuff that I've unlocked. And 163 GP, that is not bad. I've got a combat level up, let's see what I've got. I'm going to leave this match. Cut this off very soon. Hope you enjoyed that gameplay. I mean, that wasn't too bad. Usually it's just me getting my butt kicked left and right, but not so much this time. And I have a bundle. This is an award. Um, it's temporary. Yeah, as you can see, congratulations for reaching a new rank. You've earned a bundle of free three-day trial items. Take items. Open. Take items. Weapon tag chance pack. And delete this. <coughs> delete this because it is empty and I'm gonna go back and you can open your inventory here I have new items except if you, you can go into your inventory and I'm going to activate these we've got a zombie head with HRV and that is permanent for, yeah, weapon tags are permanent, not trial. However, this stuff is all trial. Uh, magazines, ice hex. So you can go into your inventory and see what you have. Or, customization. You can check out your weapons. Loadout 01, you can have a max of 5 loadouts. Muzzle, here's the muzzle I'm using. I saved up and bought this all by myself. Barrel, I'm using the default one. What I want is the Night Stalker. Um, I quite like the Night Stalker. The Crane, uh, this does not look g good at all. I would never use this. I mean, it does go with my scope, but still. Here's this. How much does this cost, by the way? Permanent. Uh, that isn't too expensive. 
Uh, here's a magazine I bought at the beginning of the video. I didn't even realize I had enough GP for this. You can change your scope. Um, I had a hard time adjusting to the scopes in this game. Like, the small ones, they just seemed really... The scope took up a lot of the screen, so it's sometimes hard to spot enemies. So what I like to do is line up my sights with the enemy and then scope in to improve accuracy. Can change your stock here. I actually think I kind of like the default stock best. Um, uh, let's see. Except for this one. This one looks quite good. Um, the scope in is really increased, but I think I'll actually stick with the default stock for a while. Can change your weapon tag. Where's the one I unlocked? Here's black light pixel art. I kind of like that. Here's the angry blockhead. There are a lot of weapon tags. There's the, like, zombie logo. Because this game is developed by a zombie. Still. Yeah, Tango Down was also developed by a zombie. But now a zombie is teaming up with, uh... Whatchamacallit, Perfect World. So, it's become a very fun free to play. USB drive. Portal gun! Here's what I got. Oh, that's mushroom. No, no, don't. Tuh, kinda like that. The yin yang, never use that. I mean, look at the stats. Alright, well, that is Blacklight Retribution. You should definitely download this game if you have enough space and time. Um, it is available via Steam and PerfectWorld.com. I would actually recommend Perfect World because um, on Steam you obviously have to log in to play it. And it's just a little bit of a hassle. So you might as well just get it off Perfect World. If you have tech... Uh, technical difficulties with playing it. I remember I downloaded this game forever ago, but it wouldn't let me play it. Turns out I had to update DirectX, so if you have, if it won't launch the game or something, or if it gives you an error message, leave a comment and I'll try to help. Um, I'm not that good with that type of stuff, but I can try at least. Um, so this is Blacklight Retribution. Great game in my opinion. Not the best shooter out there. It doesn't have a lot that separates it from other shooters on the market. But still very fun. Thanks for watching.